Hey, boys and girls, good to see you here this Sunday evening. Glad that you are able to be here with us and be able to, to enjoy these times together. Um, I know we haven't been having Sunday nights, but this is kind of our kids' corner time where we can learn. And We've been studying something. What have we been studying? Yes, I've kind of got these right here. We've been studying the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments, and we've walked through them. And Remember, they're found in Exodus chapter 20 and Deuteronomy chapter 5, and you can read that list of the Ten Commandments that God gave to Moses to bring to his children to help them to do two things, to help them to live according to him and pleasing to him and honoring to him, and then to live in peace and cooperation with everyone else. That's why he did that. He put them on a stone tablet, two, two stone tablets, and he gave them to Moses to bring down to the children of Israel. The first four deal with our, our relationship with God, and the last six deal with our relationship to others, and we studied that. And we looked at the first commandment. Remember the first one? What was it? Thou shalt have no other... Oh, let me turn it right. Thou shalt have no other gods. I mean, we only have one God, the God of creation. Worship and serve Him only. Then we went to number two, right? What was number two? Thou shalt not make any graven images. That means we're not to make things out of clay or out of stone that are images of things that we would worship. We need to worship the God, and our God is an invisible God. We can't see Him, right? But we know that He is God and that He is with us because of His creation, because of everything He does for His blessings on our lives. We know that God is real, that He's out there, and we need to worship Him and worship Him alone, not some image that we've made. That image can't help us, can it? No, only the one true living God that's alive and well and, and helping us can we be the one that we need to worship? We need to worship Him. And today we're going to look at number three, commandment number three. What is it? Let's look and see what it says. It says, You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. In vain. Let's say it again. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. In vain. So don't take the name of the Lord in vain. What does the word vain mean? Well, it means empty or nothing or worthless. So let's not use the Lord's name as something that's empty or something that doesn't really mean anything or something that is worthless. To say the Lord or God with no good purpose. So when you say the word Lord or the name Lord or the, the name of God, and you don't have a good purpose for it, that is using it in vain. See, God is holy. This means that God is perfect in everything that He does. Because He is holy, we can worship Him and honor Him and respect Him in every way. That's what we need to do. We need to worship, honor, and respect God and all of His names in every way. When we use His name in a way that is not honoring, respecting, or worshiping, then that is using the name of the Most High God in vain. And that's something that God commands us not to do. He didn't want His children just to go around saying His name and using His name and throwing it around like every other word in the English, English language. He wanted it to be special, set apart, and honoring when, he, when we use the name of the Lord and with respect. So that's what he wanted to do. Here are some examples. You know, people use, the, use words like, Oh God, or just God. And they are not using it in a state of prayer or worship. They are just using it as common language. They're using it as everyday words. And when we use it as everyday words, then it loses its meaning. It, there is no honoring. And we need to use it in a way that honors the God of heaven. And when we don't, this is wrong, and we shouldn't do that. We also need to use God's name in a way that tells others who God is. When we use God's name and then we do something wrong, and we use it as, well, God does this, and, and we go and do something wrong, or God says it's okay, and we lie about that, and we don't use it in a respectful way that shows who God really is, then that is wrong also. Who is our God? Well, 
Our God is holy. We just talked about God being holy, right? That means He is perfect in every way. You know, God never has done anything that is wrong. He is perfect. And we need to make sure that when we use His name, we use it in a perfect way. That references our perfect God, our holy God. He is love. You know, He gave His own Son to die on the cross to pay the price for our sins because He loved us so much. God is love. And when we don't use the word or the name of the Lord, and we don't use it in a way that shows Him love, then that's wrong. He is our Creator. You know, He created everything. As we look around in the world today, we see the outside, we see the, the, the birds and, and the, the trees come to life and the flowers and even, even some rain that we've had this week. We see some of that. And God has created all these things with the purpose of glorifying and honoring Himself. And when we don't treat Him that way, and we just throw His name around, that's not very good. That's wrong. He is also all-powerful. You know, nothing's too hard for God. Nothing is too big for God. Nothing is too tough for God. God can do everything and anything. And when we use His name, we need to use it in a way that is accessing that power, saying, God, You are all-powerful. You are the Lord of all things. We honor You. We respect You. We glorify You with everything that we do. And when we don't do that, then it's wrong. What's the right way to use God's name or the Lord's name when we think about God and we pray to God? Well, the first thing is in prayer. You know, when we pray in God's name, we are saying, Lord, we need you, the all-powerful, almighty, all-glorifying God. We need you to take control of this situation because we can't do it ourselves. We need you. And that is giving God respect and honor when we pray and we use His name to pray for the right things. Also in praise. You know, when we sing songs, sometimes we sing the Lord's name. Sometimes we talk about the Lord's name. And after that, we talk about how great our God is, how mighty our God is, how strong our God is. And when we sing God, God's name, and when we sing songs that are praising Him for who He is, that is giving Him glory and honor. And that is the right way to use the Lord's name. Also, in preaching, I understand maybe you're not a pastor. Maybe you're not a, a necessarily, you're going to stand up at the pulpit like Brother Brad and preach. You might one day, but right now you're not. But you know what? Every single person who loves God is supposed to tell others about God. That's kind of a way of preaching, isn't it? Tell who God is. Tell what God has done in your life. Tell of all the good things that God has done. Because we are to tell others about what God has done for us and also what God can do for them. And when we do that, and when we use the Lord's name correctly in doing that, it brings Him praise, honor, and glory. Everything that we are to do with God's name, every time we say it, Every time we use it, it is to be in a way of praising and worshiping and giving Him honor and glory in everything that He does. So, when you use the Lord's name, use it as one who loves us. Use it as one that has created all things. Use it as one that has the power to do all things and provides us with everything that we have. And let's make sure that we're using it, His name, to honor respect and give him all the praise and the glory that he deserves and when we do that we'll use the lord's name correctly let's not just use it as a common word let's use it as a word that represents who he is because he is our god almighty who deserves all the respect honor and glory that's due him and we are the ones to give that to him by using his name correctly so when he told the children his children he said do not use my name just throwing it around like it's every other word use it with respect and honor and glory because i am the god who loves you and created you who gives you all things i am your lord who loves you Let's use it that way. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I am so thankful that when we call to you and we say, Lord, help us. You are the God of all creation. We love you. We worship you. We praise you. You are almighty. When we do these things, we're giving you glory and honor. 
Help us to always do that and to never use your name in a way that's wrong. Help us to be aware of those things. Help us to be careful because we love you so much because you are our God, our Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, parents, sit down with your kids. Talk to them about this. This is something that they need to learn not to do. You know, the world, they use the Lord's name wrong all the time. I hear it, and it hurts me because they're using my God's name wrong. And parents, sometimes you might try to use this name wrong. You know, your, parent, your kids, if you use the name of the Lord wrong, they're learning that from you. Let's teach them how to honor and respect and to praise God in the right ways and to use the name of the Lord in the right ways. And then they will grow up knowing how to do that. So you will be their example. So please teach them correctly. Talk to them about this. Make sure they know that we are to give God respect and honor and glory in our lives in everything that we do. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, any questions you may have, please let me know. I love you. And until I see you next week, have a wonderful week honoring and praising and using the Lord's name correctly in everything that we do. Talk to you next week.